And when you look at these flywheels, you can you can you can find where that that where right there right there was where that I've done file that down right there. And uh, there you know, used to be a little high place where the set screw was at. And I found it to be a good idea to put when I reassemble an engine because they were these engines were uh, especially if you are putting a part on your engine that didn't come on that engine that that part may have been on a running engine but it won't match up your engine just because a part came off of a running engine don't make it a part that you can just bolt on to your engine and go most of the time you'll have to file it a little bit and on this engine right here up to date there they, they has not been a part. Every nut, bolt, set screw, washer, every every part on this engine, I have filed off a little burr or made some kind of. Uh, I've had a file to every part on this engine up to now. But you can see right there the two big flywheels. That's where that the weights would go. Okay. And and this right here, this is the way that this came from the factory right there. Okay. I I like to, and it has served me well, is instead of putting the set screw back right there where it was at, and I filed that so there's no obstruction, is to turn it halfway around and put the set screw on the complete opposite side that way you have a new seat because the, this part here was not the part that was on there and if you try to put it back exactly where it goes it probably won't match up and this this is the the governor collar this is the part that goes in yonder and this little gap right here is where this tooth fits and the other gap on the other side is where the other tooth fits and you have to that's all bolted together ready to go that's all bolted together tight ready to go the, and this, the way you put that on there is bring that back out bring that around and put that tooth over yonder and that tooth up here and then just slide her in there now to know where to bolt this to set this set screw down here is what you do is looking on the other side if you want to do it that way so that you can make that you when you put these two weights together they should be identical meaning they have the equal amount of clearance on both sides back onto this side you you push that yoke up there for it to go bring them out of the way push that up forward to go and then bring your weights around to where they are in the center of those two spokes you want the same amount of clearance on either side push it up to that one and I'm just holding them in there lightly and you push it that way rotate it this way this way and then you stop halfway between there which will be right there let your weights come out push this up tight this yoke right here Make that go up tight against your flywheel, and then tighten this up. Tighten that up. Now this this yoke right here is a weak place on these engines, so you want to use caution when you tighten up this set screw right here use caution because it's a vulnerable part okay that's plenty tight right there and bring your your nut down there and uh, and lock it into position okay now now if this we, we, that's 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 all you that's completed and i will oil this i'll oil this liberally No, uh, do not put no, don't, don't put any anisees on there, and don't put any grease on there as of yet, because the grease will come out of the barrel and grease up this area right in here. But all of this back in here is greased, is lubricated, 
only with oil. And if you put grease in there, what you're doing is building a dam and the oil cannot flow. So we got that done. Bring it back over here. Look at this side over here. And you see there we've got the equal amount on both sides. Operates good, smooth. And, and, a, and, a, and a governor should operate like this right here if it's, if it's, if it's rusty and not lubricated and it don't move right then you're not going to have any success with your governor system. Okay, let's put this on the engine. Before we put that flywheel on there, let's figure out how much side play we have here on our crank and our rod. And let's, uh, it's all the way over yonder on that side now. Bottom down. So you take a piece of tape and put it right there okay that's that's the straight line but from here to here and that'll give us a visual and then you pull that crankshaft this way this way and if need be measure it that's eighth of an inch I can see it uh, yes it's one eighth of an inch exactly that's how much that's how much clearance we have from side to side free clearance on the inside is an eighth of an inch so when when I put the flywheels on there I want to have half of that I want to be able to to align that to half that distance right there that's uh it's about the thickness of a dime is how much yeah uh sixteenth of an inch that's how much clearance we will have between the bushings on this side and the crankshaft there and over there we'll have a sixteenth of an inch clearance on each side that nothing nothing makes contact inside the contact is made on these but on these babbit bearing flanges that's the wire surface right here and the reason you don't uh, put a bushing on the wrist pin up there to align your uh, rod is the flange on the babbit bearing on the back aligns your rod to wherever it needs to be on the piston that's a free floating rod uh, to piston clearance but it's a it's not a free floating wrist pin but anyway that's uh, that's that's the way you do that is you just find out how much play you actually have from one side to the other and then you want half of that from one side to the other and and what I'm gonna have to do is put the flywheel on this side right here and um, uh, and I will use this side over here as the as the side to set that uh, flywheel fast over there and then once that I get everything in position then that one, that one over there will be the this will be the alignment side and, and I'll show you how it works on this side same thing uh, that's uh, where it's at and then if you pull it this way you've got eighth of an inch clearance there and when I get ready to put it back on I would set it at half that distance okay now that we've got past that, let's uh, let's oil that flywheel up. 